Welcome back to another Matt Sharf video. We've got something very, very special. Um, obviously, before you guys tune into this, please go to Micah Morris's channel and check out part one. If you have not seen that yet, like and subscribe to Micah. Uh, we, uh, we filmed a, a beautiful uh, part one match. You're gonna need to know that information before you jump over here, okay? We were out here at Cape Cod. What is it? Cape, Cape Town. Cape Club. Son of a Cape Wait. Club in Palm Springs. Palm City. We're out here at Cape Club in Palm Springs and they've been Palm nice. City. <laughs> We're out here at Cape Club in Palm City and they have been nice enough to host me and Micah. This course is absolutely beautiful. Micah thinks he's got a nice little dub, he's got a little advantage, but I'm gonna step up, I'm gonna hit some solid tee shots, be a little bit smarter on this back nine, still get somewhat aggressive on some drivable par fours and try and come back and win this match. But most importantly, we're having some vibes. This, the is, first, this is the first time back that we've played together in over a year and a half. Yeah. And that's what you guys are really here to see. You're just you're just here to see Mike, me and Mike have some fun, play some some semi decent golf, and uh, and hopefully keep the vibes nice and high. I'm excited to be <laughs> back here with Matt. It's been forever. The vibes, me and him, we always just vibe. We just had a different vibe in Good Good, and uh, you know, obviously there's history. Um, sure. But you know, history is what makes things beautiful. Um, Man. Wow. <laughs> that was inspirational. Hold it down. <laughs> Come on now. That's phenomenal. So Go here we are. Hole number 10, part two, me and Matt, we're back. What in the heck is that? I am hitting two iron off the first hole. It's 376 yards, and I'm gonna plan on hitting this 276 yards and having exactly 100 yards in. Yeah, it is, it is downwind here, so. Again, it's a beautiful golf course. I mean, it's nice and green. It's just absolutely, it's just so much fun. Just seeing green golf courses because you live in Texas still. Yeah, I got, uh, I got that, that yellow turf out there as of now, so. Out it, there. Out there. So it's, uh, it's very nice to see some beautiful green grass. Yeah, it's beautiful. It goes left, but you don't want to hit driver. Good thing you don't have driver. Yeah, I can't be doing that this round. I actually got to come back and, and make some birdies here. It was way too aggressive on, on, on part one. I'm going to dial it back a little bit. I think that was 276 yards. Is that okay? It looked dead straight. But it is still in the fairway? Uh, that's a great question, honestly. Because for some reason I thought I saw it disappear. I hit it perfectly. I hit it exactly where I I mean, did you to. sail it into the woods? There's no way. No, 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 no. I just don't think you hit it quite as far. That was not 276 yards. You like, you like, you hit a punch shot. Yeah, it's like 290 on that line. Oh, that's beautiful. Those gotta be two great bowls. Maybe we're missing, maybe we're missing the fairway something down there or something, a little something. They just go over a hill, that's probably what happens. Man, I mean, I just hit a beautiful rocket ship down there. This didn't go 280, there's no way. Well, that's an interesting start. I'm gonna put it on the GoPro and we're gonna talk a little bit. Well, regardless of the shots that were hit, what we are experiencing in this moment is a reuniting, is a reuniting of uh, two best friends. It really is. It feels like we've been apart for a while, but it really doesn't feel like anything's changed. No. Like, I feel like I'm right back in it with it, you. And the, it's not like this is the first time we've seen each other for a year and a half. It's just the first time we've filmed together. So that's important to right. understand for people. Um, Micah, I'm not like this. Shot too, bro. Oh, there it is. Okay. Like, this is, it's, it's more than just filming. It really is. Yeah. It's a love. All right, 96 yards. And here's to not being short. Um, I'm going to hit 58 degree. And I'm going to try to hit it 95 yards. He's always concerned about getting to the green, but he doesn't understand you have to hit a shot that like 1% of the population could hit no, consistently. No, you do, but like, think about it if we did. Think about it if you did, yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go, 96 yards. Really, one hit and finish? You're, you're such a piece of crap for that. Now fix your divot, shut your mouth. My don't wedge talk, gets no. to be saved. Don't even talk to the camera, you don't deserve that. Who do you think you are? When you're good, you can do that. <laughs> All right, I got 84 yards. A little downwind, so this should be more than enough. Ooh, that's a great looking shot. Get back there. It looks great, it looks great in the air. All of my shots today have looked phenomenal in the air, and they're all freaking short, they're long, they're not even close. Said every golfer ever. Man, that looks so good in the air. How are we doing? Time to make birdie, that's what it comes down to. You know, you make that birdie, and then that shot doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, I just got a little bit more work to do. All right, Skyler. Skyler's a great name, too. Which is a uh, me up. Breaking, breaking Bad, you know? Yeah, Skyler, of course. Skyler, your wife. With Gray Show ever made. It's, oh my gosh, I've been, I've, I'm on episode, I'm on season four, episode three. Oh, it's crazy, because it ends with, uh... <laughs> I, you, I almost, dude. Wait, what happened? He almost just ruined Breaking Bad for me. I, I will say it's the greatest it. ending of any show you know, ever made. Best show ever, though? Huh. Jack Reacher. So far, um, I'm, I'm on episode God. three. You're built like Jack Reacher. Yeah, I'm like Jack Reacher's, like, 
younger brother. It's like you have Snickers and then you have mini Snickers. Yeah. That's me. All right, let's hit a putt here. <laughs> okay, anyway. Hey, I got it there. See that putt right there, Skyler? I am the danger, Skyler. All right, I'm gonna start calling you Walter, though. Hey, Walter, how you doing? <laughs> Birdie putt, get me back to one over par. So sorry, I was trying to hold it. Dang it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. He, he thought he was trying to juke me there, and I still got it. Dang it! All right, well, take... You know deep down you love it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't. All right, that was a great birdie. I mean, I at least I'm trending in the right direction. I just went from double bogey par, so I'm going the right way. Just got to make some more good swings. Our second hole, but hole number 11 out here, you know, you got to be careful. We got water on the right-hand side here. But I think with these clubs, you just kind of aim. Honestly, you can just aim out to the left. You could hit a little driver just at that bunker, but my driver has been absolutely cheeks today. So I'm going to put that away and just hit a little hybrid out there. I got to hit it pretty hard because I don't, you know, we're going to have like 175, 180 in here. I'm trying to hit a low draw because I need to, I need to try to get a few extra yards out of this bad boy. <laughs> I, tried it. I mean, that, you know, overall splash out, is a beautiful... <laughs> Swing. What were you trying to do? Like why? That that's never been a part of your game. I wasn't trying to sling it. I'm trying to hit a low draw because I thought that I could do that. Now I've put. Now I've cracked the door open for Matt. Yeah. After I just made a birdie. Stay. Don't. Don't. Right. I mean, I literally probably just went 250 yards. So maybe not even. I'm gonna have 185 yards into the pin. Takes re in, hitting his third. Yeah. Why couldn't I do that the first time? You're just trying to help me out a little bit. Yeah, I was. All right, focus on making bogey. I have four iron in hand, trying to hit this 220 with this wind. This is insane. Oh. Oh, this looks great. No. <clears throat> Holy oh. shorts. Man, I thought that was funny. It's insane to hit a four iron that hard, that hard from a 200 from 190 yards and still be short. And like, you can't even feel the wind here because we're below the tree line. Here's the deal, way too close. You know what I'm saying? This is not what I thought I had from the tee box. I thought it was up here. Anyway, we're in play and that's the good news. This is my second shot. I also have four iron because I'm probably about 189 out as well. Trying to keep it a little bit lower. Take short of the green. This is a big chance for me to get, uh, to get one back here. Two back, three back. Just be good. Just, just do what I say. Just do what I say. Oh, of course I hit it that good. Of course I hit it that good. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the best four ends I've ever struck. Look at that. See that grass? Right in the center of the club face is where my ball just hit. Feeling chipping in, making a great bogey, getting on to the next. It's gonna break a little right. I thought I said I was not going to be short today, and then somehow I'm still short. He's got that for double. He's not in for double yet, but I'm assuming he's going to make it. I need to make sure that I two-putt this. My long putts today have been really bad, so good nice lag putt up there. Come on, Matt. Come on. Hit a house. Hit it. Hit a brick house. That is, I mean, my long putts have been outrageous today. The minute it came off the face, I knew. The minute it came off the face, I knew. I mean, the whole thing was just downhill. It was. And I literally, and it like jumped out of the fair rough too, or the fairway grass, which doesn't help. Man, that's just terrible. Might be time to bring out the driver. I'm not even joking. I don't know what happened with my putter today, but I might bring out the driver. All right, Tig, you can miss this. Help me out a little bit. Yeah, this is for a double now. Not fun, but you got to treat it just as if it was a birdie putt, you know? Jeez, you took out all the break. Like, that's all you have to do. I literally had like a complete brain fart there because I almost played that two inches out to the right expecting it to break left. Like, what the <laughs> frick is my problem? Well, this is for somehow I'm putting for bogey right now. Wow. Oh <laughs> it kind of hit this divot just a See, little bit too. To the left, didn't it? Yeah, mine was a little right to left. I don't know. I think I hit that divot, and I guess I'm glad I had enough pace on it. I got one back. I'm back to three down. Yeah, oh yeah, you did make one down. I'm, I'm now three over, and you're six. Six seven. over. So, or seven. I'm oh, um, four. I'm four back instead of five. Back. Four back instead of five back. My mistake. I got a lot of work to do still. 
All right, here we are, hole number 12. An interesting hole. I'm just gonna see that big old bunker out there. That's that's where I'm going. Little driver, low driver. Keep it low. Get it in play. Oh, that was hammered. Oh, where has that been all day? That was nice. Yeah, well, you know. I don't know. Hammer too. Finally, the ball did exactly what I wanted it to do. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh! All right, Jake. Nice. Wow, he's got that teed up one. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to go really low as well. And typically, when I do that, I try to tee it down. So I'm gonna try to just aim for the left side and hit a little fade. I think Matt out drove me there for the first time in his entire life. But a ball in play is a ball that you can play. Come on now. Come on, that's a wrap. Somebody needs to turn up with that. Matt hit a great drive. He's probably gonna be able to comfortably get there. I have 226 yards and I'm gonna play this like two, probably 250. I got two iron in hand. Look at that buttery Taylor mix. Get over that bunker. Get over that bunker. Yes. What? Oh my golf shot. Dang. I had stuff one to compete with. I don't know what to say about that one. Look at that divot too. That boy was a little dollar big, bill. That's a big divot for a 200. Man, Tig just hit a really great shot in there. This is a kind of an uncomfortable number for me. We're just gonna try and go at the center of the green here and just give myself an eagle look. Go, go, go. Okay, in that front bunker. Five. I should have hit a, like a massive hook five or something. I just, it's just too uncomfortable for me. I'm in between clubs. All right, up and down for birdie. All right, here we go. Up and down for birdie. Oh, wow. Fantastic golf shot. That's some nice Florida sand right there. I mean, that's the type of sand that I want to bury my head in. Toss me that rake and shut your mouth. All right, guys. I got an eagle putt to get back, make up for that double that I made on the last hole, which would be awesome. Get back to one over par. Ooh, I see a nice line here. So just, I'm gonna pick this line, I'm gonna trust it. It's all about start line, man. That's perfect right there. Oh. Oh. All right, that's a solid birdie. Gets back to two over. Would've loved to see that drop a eagle on today, but birdies, pars, eagles, doubles, they're all the same when you're having fun. Well, I mean, look at this birdie look here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This is just some unbelievable stuff here. Take some real special guts to get here. Put a good stroke on it and try to make it. All right, knock it in. All right, here we go. Yeah, you're not gonna do it that way, Sharp. Oh my gosh! I hit it off the toe and I knew it. Hey, solid par. Yeah, solid par. I mean, what a par out of me, you know? All right, I got some work to do. Tig made birdie there, got another stroke on me. I think he's like 17 over. Trending the right way here. Another beautiful looking hole in the next one. Oh man, I just gotta dial in some of those long. I gotta dial, my putter's been just absolutely awful today and that's, that one's on me. Here we go, I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the last one and just try to cut something off this bunker on the left and then give myself a look at it. Just trust it. I'm gonna go a little farther right actually. I actually think that was really good. Oh, okay. Kept it under the wind for sure. Wind could do crazy things to you. I just made birdie and now I'm gonna be um, fighting for par. <laughs> hey, how we doing? I need the same drive. I mean, look at all this room right. I mean, just think about the, uh, just think about the opportunity we have, you know? Nice. Yeah, go, go to 250 down there. Is this short of that bunker? I think I might have literally just hit that 250. Did you hear how that sounded? That sounded like I cracked my driver. There is absolutely nowhere I can hit this ball other than just to go right out here and hit my like driver or threw it off the deck and just go all the way around. You can do that. Lots of options, Tig. <laughs> Gotta be creative here. I need to hit this ball about 126 yards and I am uh, laying up. This was, this was not an ideal tee shot, but it happens. Hey, back in play. I gotta get up and down for four. Like someone walked up to me right now and said, man, you don't know how to play golf, do you? I would agree. I would 100% agree with that. We got 150 here. I mean, a great opportunity to get after it, but it's a little into the wind, so I don't know if this is gonna be well short, if it's gonna get there. Stay there. Oh, I hit it hard, it's gotta be there. Yep. Oh yeah, you're on the green back there, back left, good shot. But I hit that one really hard, because I was like, I don't think eight's gonna get there, so. I got one thing going for me. I got 111, but it's playing 224 yards. <laughs> no joke. Um, I'm gonna go 50 degree, and I'm gonna try to hit this 120, probably 125. Go. I hit it. Oh, 
hit a full 50 degree. A full 50 degree, which usually goes 135 yards. It's 111 yards, and it's 30 feet short. There's some sand up there, mister. Sand we don't feel. Some sand up there? What did I say? All right, like I said, 35 feet short, and I'm gonna try to chip this in for my pull. Uh, this will be epic. I think it's gonna break a little bit to the right at, at the last five, five feet, so. I was right about it breaking right. A little work to be done. I can get two back here. Chip this in here. Dang it, get down there. I was, might as well just hit that 90 degrees, had to go over here. I'm gonna start putting with my wedge. Think I won't. I guarantee I'll putt better. All right, see if I can make this for bogey. Go back to three over after just kind of bouncing all around, man. Yeah, Save myself at least one stroke. I could have got one back with my putter, probably would have made it, but decided, you know what? I'm not out here to have I'm not out here to have good scores, you know what I'm saying? Who cares about that? I'm just going for the cool shots now, you know? Now I'm trying to there's a whole one opportunity, I'm gonna go for it. Driver opportunities, you guys get the vibes. Well, you know me, I got my driver in hand because that's the way my game's going. Get after it with your two iron. Yeah, I'm going two iron, just trying to hit a little fade that kind of finishes on that bunker up there. Two different types of people. One person's gonna show you some good golf, another person is going to show you what it looks like to not play good golf. But maybe hit a good shot. All I need is one good shot. If I hit this on the green, I'll start making I'll birdie every hole out. That might be fine somehow, but that might be okay. Reddit's just going crazy right now. It is. I can smell them. We waited a year and a half for this. Yes, you did. All right. Bazooka T. That's where my game's at right now, ladies and gentlemen. I might actually be alright. I could be kind of close. Over over there. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not on the green, but it's okay. I mean, look at my ball up there in perfect position, Tig. Yeah. You look at that while you're hitting. 119 yards, and I'm gonna play. I, I should hit driver again because of how long everything's playing. I got pitching wedge, I'm gonna go 135. And I got, I'm, I'm not kidding, I do not know how this ball stayed in play. It looks like it's faked, but it's it's absolutely not faked. Sounds kind of fake to me. Yeah. I mean, people are gonna say it's fake, and I don't, I don't care, I don't, but I did not drop this ball, so here we go. Sure you didn't. <laughs> Please be good. Yep. Button, I think. My brain can't compute where that's at because I gotta get my cobalt. This is my second set of eyes. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, this is, talk about an absolutely aggressive line here, huh? Somehow it just barely crept in the fairway. Good thing I hit a fade, not a draw. Well, maybe not, but what am I even looking at? I'm supposed to be focusing on this next shot. All right, we got 70 yards here. Mike has got a great chance, chance for birdie. I also need a great chance for birdie. Just do something absolutely crazy. Get in the bunker. Yep. Thanks guys. Hopefully you guys have been watching. I mean, man, if you're still watching this video at this point, shout out you. That was crazy. I literally called it right when I hit it. I was like, bunker all day. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna make something crazy happen. Knock it in. Yeah, sure. Ooh, that's soft. All right, I got a putt for birdie, pin high. That was actually uh, pretty happy with that shot from over there. Um, this is breaking a little bit to the right again. I feel like I have a good chance of making this. over man just back and forth for me a couple doubles a couple birdies two over par matt has this for par clean it up that's what i've resorted to here folks a little wedge button and clearly it's working how are we doing thank you all right all right all right, we have made it to hole 15. Guys, obviously, this like Matt's not having his best day. We've all been there. It is what it is, and this is just fun, okay? We're back together. We're gonna film together more, and we're gonna we're gonna do cool stuff. So it's just golf, okay? It's just go golf. low. Just go hey, low. let them see someone play good. You know what I'm saying? I've been playing pretty solid too. So I don't. I have literally no clue what's going on today. I just have just been missing everything. And why? It was just downwind, and now it's straight into the wind. You're killing me out here, Smalls. 
Yeah, it is. But look, the pin's not moving. Tops of the trees are barely moving. Like, but then you get it above them, and it's like 50 mile an hour winds. I'm gonna go just a just a full pitching wedge. I think that's probably a, 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 a smart play. There's a lot of room right. This pin's on the left side. I mean, I'm hitting greens, but trying to find the right club is so hard. I had 50 in my hand. If I would have hit 50, then I probably would have been in the water. You in the drink there. I mean, I'm getting so aggressive that I'm just... Just go right at it. I'm Let's going make, right at it. If you make a hole in one, it changes everything. That's kind of sick. Soft. That's kind of... Sit down! Man, I hit pitching wedge, too. You hit a pitching wedge? Yeah. How far do you hit those clubs? No, not usually not far at all. It's like my 140 club. 35. That's a real head scratcher because I hit a hard pitching wedge and I'm short and you hit it. Maybe you're just longer than I am now. Well, this is the reality, folks. Hey, it's a pretty solid drop. Man, that's freaking his pitching wedge and I just airmailed the pitching wedge. I gotta go to the range to figure out what I'm doing. Gotta get this up and down for par, or up and in for par, excuse me. Fringe boost. Did I hit anything right today? Like, there's one piece of fringe. I literally just hit it. Like, that's literally the most ridiculous thing ever. All right, I got about 20, I, I probably got like 35 feet for birdie here. I'm gonna try to go, it's, it's breaking left pretty hard at the end, so I'm gonna make sure and kind of re respectfully get it up there. See it going in the hole and just make another birdie. Ah. All right, good part there. Time to make a bogey. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Good double there for me. We're picking it up here. <laughs> We're picking it up. You do it with a smile on your face. That's tough. I that's, just... that's too humility. All right, guys. We have made it to hole number 16. It's like 370 yards again, but it's just tighter than a hotel hallway. I got two iron mats. Got a hybrid. And I'm going to try to hit a draw that kind of finishes just... Right, there's one lone tree that I'm kind of looking out there at. So here we go. Finish strong. We got three holes left. Florida air is changing a little bit, so we got to stay stay locked in. Bye. Kind of been able to hit this off the tee, so let's try and hit it off the tee. Mine's gonna be questionable. Yes, great kick. Back to the right. Great kick. That's the kick we needed. That's in play. How are we doing? That's in the bunker maybe, but we've got a shot to the green. Man, that's kind of one of the, the first really big miss I've had today, and it cost me. I'm hitting my third shot. It, it kind of came, we, the last place we saw it was right around here, so this is kind of our best judge of where it crossed. I'm hitting my third shot. I got 152 yards. I got just a, just a really solid nine. I'm trying to get one close and make four. I don't know exactly where it ended up, but it looked really good. It felt really good. I think it has potential to give me, hopefully inside of 10 feet, make a par. This is the break of the year for me. Hey, shout out you, brother. You got a freaking, that's a weird looking tree, but kept me out of the bunker, which honestly I'd rather be in. And uh, and he gave me this beautiful position. So I really appreciate that, keeping me in play. There's a better outlook, right? There's a better outlook. At least I'm in play. Off the tee's been kind of a struggle, putting's been a struggle, so. I'm gonna try and hit some sort of heroic shot here and, and you know, that's all I can really hope for, or ask for. Oh, is that just draw way too much? No, no. I thought I started drawing way too much, so I'm not too upset with that. I'm gonna go take a peek at that. Hey, positiveness. Dude, this is actually a great position for me. Like, that shot that I had coming into this, and it's green was, it was pretty impossible. So I'm happy to get it here. Up and down par, let's try and do our best to finish strong here. A little par, par, par finish would be, it would be a great finish for me considering all things considered, so. Considering all things considered. Considers all things, that would be considered all things. That's a lot of, that's a lot of things. That's a lot of considering. It's a lot of considering. If I hit the fringe, I would've been fixed. <laughs> that just would've sent me through the roof if I somehow hit the fringe. Still got those soft hands, I'm able to hit that kind of shot. Hopefully we can finish that for par. All right, I got about probably 10 feet for par. So this would be 
This would be kind of legendary after having to take a drop. Right through it, I kind of I, I questioned it in my head. All right, that's another bogey after two birdies, two holes ago. I made birdie, so I'm back to three over. Nice, that's a great up. And yeah, it's a great up and down, isn't it? Come on now, look at that. Never a doubt. Never yeah. a doubt. See, if I would have went with my first instincts, I actually would have made it because you know, he, he, I moved it more left. All right, well, I got one back on Mike. I'm only one down, moving to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Hole number 17, second to last hole, and also part, uh, number 18 is an iconic par five. So, 141. Matt has honors. I'm three over. What are you, Matt? I'm like four over. So we, we got a real we got a real barn burner yeah, coming I, in. We got a nail biter coming in the last one here. Yeah, I'm just trying to go up that right side of the green, and give myself a, a birdie look. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something special? Sit, sit. Great spot to be. And he said, "Don't go long." So I wanted to really make sure that I didn't go long. You know, like where I'm at, I got a pretty putt. Wow! Can you guys believe it? Can we believe it, folks? Can he finish par, par, par? Hey, you got this. I'm gonna go just left of the pin, hopefully. And if I just leave it a little right, like Matt did, that'd be perfect. A little short. I don't know. I didn't see it. Sure. I didn't see it down the, the the haziness out here starting to get me but got one back on Mike on the last one I'm gonna get another one back on this one and then we're only three down <laughs> all right well I'm a little bit short I think my backswing was just too short to need to produce the power needed for that shot which is ridiculous but a, a pretty stand forward pretty stand forward straight forward yeah that's a lot stand. pretty straightforward pitch for most people so we can see if I can get this close if not chip it in finish birdie birdie They're out here to see you play good. Let's let's keep that up, you nut. All right, you can go ahead and pull that pin. I'm chipping this one in. Oh, are you serious? Oh, yeah. I mean, I already see the vision. I already see it. Go, go, go! Ah! That was the vision! <laughs> it's a great effort. Yeah, good job, Matt. All right, I got a long one for the par. Breaking left. I saw kind of saw Matt, so let's see if I can knock it in here. That's what I like to see. Keeping bogeys up. When I stood point. over that putt, I was just like, I know I'm gonna make this. Come on, stay at three over. We got a par five left to finish. Matt just made two pars in a row, so just some, some real great things happening. Great things happening down the stretch here. Beautiful, iconic hole here. Iconic finishing hole. All starts with a good drive, Scott. This is the one. Yeah, that'll play. Nice and low on the face. Nice yeah. and low runner. It's out there in play, and that's the reality. Should be able to get there in two pretty easily, because this is a very short hole. I'm gonna try to go right down the water line. Oh yeah. I don't know, it might be into the wind. Yes! I don't know what that wind was doing, but I think it's in the fairway, which is awesome. If that ain't the goal of today for me, 18 holes, one birdie. This is a great solid miss hit here, 202. I'm gonna keep it on the left side and the wind should push it back a little right and get me back on the green. Stop hitting it, man. Man, I think that's so good. Bunker? Yeah. David started right where I wanted to. Man, I got this weird left problem going on. All right, I can get up and down from that bunker though. 155, it's cold. I'm gonna play this about 170. I'm gonna play it a little bit left of it. I think the wind's just gonna push it right back to the pan. It's gonna be beautiful. Stay there. A little handsy there, a little flippy, but I saved it and um, I got an eagle putt. I, I still have one more chance to make an eagle. Look at that nice, look at that beautiful little Didn't want to get too aggressive with it. I got myself a good birdie look. This could potentially be my final stroke of the day if I make this, make Eagle get back to two, or get back to one over actually. That would be pretty, that'd be a pretty successful day for me with how hard this golf course was playing. So let's roll this in. Come on, Tig. 
Come on, Let's pig. go, baby. Yes. That was awesome. Yes. I, I, that was just another one where I felt like I was going to make it. Finish with an eagle. What a pot. What a finish. All right, now you finish with the birdie here. Hey, hey now. Go, 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 go. Gosh, this stupid bump. I hit one yeah. small bump. All right, hey, par, par, par finish ain't too shabby either, though. Come on, man. Hey, that was awesome. That was I fun absolutely play. love playing golf with you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I mean, lead him out. What do you, what do you got for him? February 7th? February 7th is probably the biggest lead out. Obviously, most of you guys probably know a couple videos have come out already. Me and Tig are playing together. Grant and Garrett are playing together. We got the Brian Bros coming. We got Buster Jack coming. We got lots of really, really good golfers and lots of fun faces that are coming out. So I'm going to need to go figure out when the heck happened today. <laughs> And then, uh, Tig, you just keep playing the way you were playing. We'll get we'll get a really solid chance at, at taking a dub on that thing. I think. Yeah, we um, we might be we not we might. Yeah. We might not be the most favored team, but let's let's go out there and let's make an upset. Yeah, that's you know that's exactly what. I, and if, I, it, if we can uh, putt, if we can make the putts, and I made some putts today. Yeah. If you're putting the way you did, and I can figure out some putting things, get back to what I was doing two days ago, I think we got a really solid chance. And obviously the vibes are gonna be immaculate. Obviously for me, it wasn't the day that I wanted, but I really truly didn't care how I played. It was just more so on letting you guys know that like me and Mike are gonna try our best to film some more videos and find some time in our busy schedules to connect. And if you come down to Dallas, I come down to you. We'll, we'll try and film some more stuff together. And it was just one heck of a day. The wind was, it was howling, but it, it could have been a lot worse. I feel like I've been in Florida where it's been a lot worse than this, so. The Cape Club at Palm City. Thank you guys for having us out. Skylar, Jacob, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for helping us film this. What is, so officials, I, I ended up shooting one over and I think you were probably. I was like four, two over probably. Two or three over, yeah. Yeah, so I was like two or three it's over. It's actually a pretty close match, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go check out Google Golf uh, for some of that apparel. Go check out Google for some of the fun videos as well. I just can't wait for February 7th. I think me and Tig got a great chance. We're gonna surprise a lot of people. Like and subscribe. Also go check out Michael Morris for part one if you haven't seen that yet. We'll catch you in the next one. Love you guys.